who this is. This is mi comadre. <laughs> what is your name? Liz Rodriguez. My son. Rowan. Hi. This is my godson, Aijado. <laughs> my, my... How do you call Ashley Daniela. All right. <laughs> All right, so today's vlog is from Chapultepec. Chapultepec Park. I think you can see the castle behind me somewhere. Um, we'll see how it goes. I'm with family. They're not family of blood. They're family of soul. So enjoy the day with me. okay. <laughs> Bye, adios. So I had a hard time trying to decide where to bring, where to bring family, where to bring the kids. You know, what would be most interesting to them. The first thing I thought was the zoo. Uh, I probably should have rethought that. I mean, it was fine, but I don't think they were that interested. Um, and the zoo, as the older I get, you know, I don't know, uh, animals caged in are, are less and less appealing to me. Uh, they, they looked well cared for. The environment that they're in are, are fine, except for some of the birds. They weren't in a cage. There was a, it was open, open-ended on top, but their wings were clipped. And I, th I thought that was, that was kind of sad, so. They have a wide variety of animals, but the majority of them were antelope. I think they had the, every species of antelope available in the world at the Tepultepec Zoo. For me, the giraffes are pretty cool. It's not every day you see giraffes in person. They are so majestic. Um, another thing that impressed me about this zoo is they, the amount of security. For the animal's sake, they were placed in strategic places where the humans can't get to or can't interfere with the uh, with the animals in the zoo. And I thought that was pretty cool. Chapultepec Park is a world-class park to visit, no doubt, without a doubt. Park officials, I think you would help parents tremendously, especially the mothers, if you would replace those rickety old kitty mobiles. For starters, they're very noisy. I mean, there's no sneaking up on anybody. You know, they, uh, <clears throat> they're made out of plastic. All the walkways here in the park are primarily cobblestone, so are shaking and bouncing, and I see the kid having a good time for after a while, but pretty soon they're out walking with everybody else because it's not a comfortable ride. The pandas was kind of the lure to get the kids interested in coming to the zoo. Well, what has it, as it turns out, the pandas are on the very end, the tail end of the zoo. You have to do quite a bit of walking to get there. And when we got there, they were all asleep. I heard one saying, we walked all this way to see sleeping pandas. <laughs> there are so many squirrels here in Chapultepec Park. Here, I think they're part of the attraction. They come right up to you. I don't think it's because they're friendly. It's because they're resourceful. They know we have food in our backpack. They know that we are suckers for f cute little furry things. So uh, my advice though, if you're going to feed the squirrels, please don't feed them the junk food that's available here. The junk food's not good for people. So don't give them to the squirrels. I can't imagine the effect that a spicy hot Cheeto will have on a Mexican squirrel. And I don't want to find out. I think the next time that I come to Mexico City and I explore uh, Chapultepec Park, I'm going to do it by bike. I see people all over with the rental bikes or even the little motor scooters. I might break my head if I'm on a motor scooter, so I think I'm going to stick to a bike, but what a great idea, you know, because walking takes so long and it's very tiresome. On a bike, you can be a more effective explorer by being able to move about. Your walk to Chapultepec Castle will be on an uphill grade. Let it be known that if you are pushing a baby carriage, 
they're going to ask you to check it in at the gate and you'll have to carry your toddler throughout the tour. I just bought my tickets for the castle. The cost was ooh, 75 dollars, 75 pesos rather and 45 extra pesos if you wanted to take video. So um, yeah, I bought both. First off, let's state the obvious. This castle, this staircase, is a selfie magnet because of the movie with Leonardo DiCaprio, Romeo and Juliet. You might recognize it. But this hill and castle of Chapultepec has a tremendous history. Going way back as far as Montezuma, this is where he had his thermal baths in the hills of Chapultepec. Later in history, the Viceroys built this palace where Maximiliano was appointed Emperor of Mexico by Napoleon III. Maximilian built Avenida Reforma from the castle to downtown Mexico City to resemble the streets of Paris. But most significant in Mexican history was Los Niños Errores. Between the years 1846 and 1848, the United States and Mexico were at war. And six young cadets went hand to hand with the American soldiers to defend the castle. When all seemed to be lost, Juan Escutia wrapped himself in the Mexican flag and jumped to his death to prevent it from falling into the hands of the enemy. And now all these events have been memorialized and it is one of the best places to view Mexico City from. So what I learned about Chapultepec Park is you gotta come with a plan. Don't just come here walking place to place all willy-nilly because you're gonna spend a good couple, you're gonna spend hours just walking without a plan. So pick a couple places, a couple of, uh, pick a couple of museums to hit in one day. Uh, get yourself a map, get your bearings on that map. Where is east, where is west? and try to stick to it because it is so easy to get lost here in this massive amazing park.